I understand that the Commission is currently challenging Canada at the WTO over Ontario Province's um, use of local content requirements for renewable energy sources. I very much welcome that because I think an open global market um, for green goods is vital for EU manufacturers. But I'm concerned to hear that the Ukraine recently ratified law number 8231, which also introduces local content requirement of 50% for wind and for solar. Will the Commission also be challenging this at the WTO, and will it be raising it in the context of the Deep and Comprehensive Free Trade Agreement? Um, surely this uh, move by the Ukraine contravenes the competition and regulatory convergence chapters that are in that agreement. Thank you. Commission. Thank you. Um, it is uh, it's a fact of life that the uh, Ukraine has been introducing legislation uh, uh, by which uh, uh, the uh, local content uh, for wind turbines would go down to 15% as of the 1st of January 2012 and then raise again to 30% in 2013 and 50% in 2014. Obviously, this uh, is uh, uh, unacceptable to us, but we are, as you know, in an, a negotiating uh, round with, uh, with Ukraine on a, a deep and comprehensive uh, free trade agreement. And one of the, the main elements of, of that uh, agreement, uh, Honorable Member, is that uh, you would have uh, um, a, a modelling of, of, of those policies uh, on the, the uh, uh, EU directives. And the EU directive concerned is the one uh, with respect to public procurement. Uh, and it says very clearly, unless justified by the subject matter of the contract, technical specifications shall not refer to a specific make or source or a specific origin or production with the effect of favouring or eliminating certain undertakings or certain products. Now, it means that once the uh, DCFTA will be concluded, that uh, uh, in any case towards the European Union, uh, Ukraine will not be in a position to uphold that legislation. Thank you. Mrs. Hall, do you want a supplementary? Thank you for that helpful response. I wondered whether Commissioner Fula had anything to say on the Ukraine um, agreement, given that his recent comments about the charges against Timoshenko. Thank you very much for this additional question. I have nothing to add to what I have said already on that particular issue. Of course, the DCFTA negotiation is a part of the uh, association agreement. Uh, uh, is uh, uh, ongoing not in a political vacuum, but uh, very much uh, based on the, on the values uh, which are in the center of our relationship. And my recent discussion with the Ukrainian authorities, I have uh, used that opportunity to make that link uh, uh, between the new contractual arrangement we are ready to engage in on one side and on the other side Ukrainians delivering uh, on the fundamental rights, freedom, uh, uh, rule of law, independence of, 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 of justice. Thank you. Thank you very much.